It is the winter of 2018. The men and women of the UE military are deployed to provide aid at the Mocha base. Spirits are high as three Emirati soldiers anticipate an imminent return home. While on their final routine patrol, the three soldiers, Ali, Bile and Hindasi are ambushed by heavily armed militants on their route, through a narrow canyon. Trapped, wounded, and out of communication range, the three soldiers realize the gravity of their situation. They are running out of options, munitions, and time. Back at the base, their commander receives word and realizes that the assault on the UE Army patrol was premeditated. A rescue mission is quickly put into action. But will air and land support reach the men in time? And will they survive? Based on true events, Al Kameen, the ambush, is a tension filled race to pull off a dangerous mission in an unforgiving landscape. They can do more better in musical scorn, except the UE national anthem at the end. Experience like you're watching a Hollywood movie, full pack action with the touch of family oriented sacrifice and a touch of drama. A big salute to UE's armed forces. It's obviously a military hardware show off, but still, the movie is great and you can easily relate. I can't concur if the movie was happened in 2015. May it happen but not that year, because till mid 2018 up to now there's some clashes between coalition and Yemen extremists. And they do have media blackout, how long before backup arrives? Saban Films has debuted a new US trailer for a high-octane foreign action film titled The Ambush, directed by French action filmmaker Pierre Morel, of District B-13, taken, from Paris with Love, The Gunman, and Peppermint previously. It's based on a true story about soldiers from the UE. In 2018, during the Yemen War, Emirati Armed Forces soldiers based in Mocha are deployed on a mission. In the middle of a routine patrol, they are ambushed in a valley by rebel combatants. Their commander leads a daring mission to rescue them. It was already released last year in the UE, and will be out in the US this November.